Hey, welcome back. This is Rev Run Reagan, and today we're going to talk about running shoes. And uh, we are all in on Vibram Five Fingers. I've been running with Vibrams for uh, almost 10 years now. I have run in a ton of different models, and I want to talk about specifically road running today and what are the best ones, in my opinion, to, to run uh, on the roads. And uh, what are some of the, the positives and negatives of uh, many of the different models that they've had? Now, I'm missing a couple because I've had some that I've run through so much that I no longer have them. And uh, so I'll, we'll talk about a couple that I don't have to show you. But um, I love running in Vibrams. When I first got my first pair, um, I, I saw that it was something you could run in. I went out and I thought, great. And took seriously the idea of landing on the the uh, the ball of my foot rather than on the heel and and took off for a run and what I didn't take seriously was the take it easy part the take it slowly and don't transition too quickly so I went out for a run I was careful to run uh, landing on the ball of my foot and bring the heel down afterwards went out and ran three miles and felt the best I had ever felt running and then I went home and I sat down for a little while. And the next time I got up, I had knots in my calves like the size of my fist. And they lasted for about a week. And so when they talk about transitioning to, to, to running minimally, uh, I love that Vibram includes uh, information about that in every pair that they sell. It's also on their website. There's all sorts of YouTube videos. All that stuff's helpful because I believe in that. I believe in running that way and running, uh, landing on the ball of your foot and bringing your heel down rather than heel striking. Uh, I believe in shortening up your, your steps and keeping your feet underneath you, your legs underneath you as you run. Uh, but it is a transition. And if you've been running other ways until then, you really do have to take it easy. I was lucky that I didn't get injured. I just got knots in my calves and they eventually went away and I worked my way uh, into running in them full time. Now, when I started running with Vibrams, I, the furthest I had ever run was three or four miles. Um, my my uh, history then is that I took on a half marathon training just to see what would happen if I could do it and celebrated every mile that I added on my weekly training plan and then ran my first half marathon. Uh, after that, I was uh, really not interested in going any further until... A pastor friend of mine was running a marathon, and I was like, well, if he can do it, I can do it. I'm a little competitive. So the next, uh, the next year, I ran two marathons in, in my V-Room Five Fingers, and uh, I ran those in a, a version of these uh, KMD, uh, or what they used to be called Komodo Sports, and, uh, and, and, and did both my, my first two marathons in these shoes and and it was great uh it was after that i read i read born to run and several other books on ultra running and it got me excited about the potential for running ultra marathons and i thought can i run ultra marathons in vibrams because uh, you know 50 miles 50k 100k 100 miles like pounding on the bottom of your feet there's no way so i bought a pair of merrill um Minimal, so there were zero zero uh, drop heel, but but had some padding on them as a backup just in case, and moved on to to ultra marathons that way. Never had to use them, and have been running ultra marathons in my Vibrams ever since. I will talk more about that in another video when when we look at trail shoes and uh, the different the different trail options from Vibram and the ones that I've run some of those ultra marathons in. But today we're talking about roads, and uh, most of my training is on roads because I live in uh, suburbs of Kansas City, and uh, there are some trails around, but uh, it's easiest most often for me to get my miles in just by leaving my house and running around town. Uh, I have three kids and a job and, and a wife and, and two crazy dogs and all sorts of stuff to do, and so uh, I don't have time to drive a long way to go find a trail and run it, and so I usually just take off from my house and... Uh, get my miles in that way. So let's talk about running roads in Vibrams. The key is how you run. We don't heel strike, but 
um, but are careful about our running form. And, um, and then your feet will do very well with really any of the models of, of, uh, of active Vibrams that you would want to wear. So I'm going to start with um, the oldest that I have and kind of work my way forward. The oldest I have are the original KSOs. Uh, these are not the original Vibrams. They had classics before that or whatever they called them. Um, but these are one of, these are maybe my second pair of Vibrams. My first were Bikilas which are a running shoe, and that's what I did a, primarily a lot of my running in originally. They are no longer with us, so um, those bikilas have, have moved on to, um, to, uh, to death. So uh, these are my second pair I ever got. These are KSOs. Now, I'll tell you, for me, these never I never loved these um, for running, mainly because they have, they have a little bit of a space in the heel that for me, always kind of slipped around. These are one of the few models that I felt like the my normal size just feels a little bit too big. Never tried them in a size down. My guess is they'd feel too small. But the heel kind of had, because of the way these work, I, I slid around a lot with them. But the bottom of them is fine, even though there's very little protection um, for running roads and, and sidewalks and tr you know paved trails. They're just fine. I did also have a pair of the KSO Evos, which I think are a great um, update to these. And I just ran the heck out of those. I loved those. I love the very thin um, sole, and uh, I just wore them out with hundreds of miles of running on them. The other thing that's great about running in Vibrams is that you are not counting on, on foam to, uh, to protect you or to... Um, remain in good condition. I have friends that they'll say, well, it's I know when it's time for a new pair of running shoes because my knees start to hurt or my back starts to hurt, which means the foam is breaking down. And I'm going, what? Because for me, I know when I need a new pair because there's holes in the soles and, I, and, um, and, and uh, I'm starting to rip through the toes and I just need them because they're worn out because the shoe is not taking care of me. Uh, my running form is doing that. And so uh, that's one of the real benefits of Vibrams. I've got several pairs that have gone five, six hundred miles of training and races on um, and really only broke down because of just wearing through the rubber eventually. And so that's what's great about Vibrams for that. So those are my oldest. These are fine. I never ran a ton in the, in the KSOs. Loved the KSO Evos and ran a lot in those. Next, I want to talk about the KMDs, the Komodo Sports, and uh, these are, I believe, still for sale on the website. I feel like they brought those back. Maybe they're just with laces. Um, honestly, these are my all-time favorite running Vibrams. These are actually made for gym, like for training, cross training, uh, and for the gym. But nothing, no other pair has ever kind of hugged your foot with the upper like these KMDs do. They are the best feeling. And they have a great sole that works great for running. And these are my all-time favorite road runners. Uh, I am using these currently. I run on the treadmill in these mostly. I just bought these used from somebody that, um, uh, you know, hadn't used them very much because they're kind of hard to find. But... This is one I always wish that they would have brought back. I, I suggested years ago, too, I wish they would make this upper with like a Spiridon or now a V-Trek um, trail shoe uh, sole because I love the upper really more than anything else. But it'd be cool to have some for the trails. I still think that's a good idea. These Something about these, the way these hug your feet, there's just nothing like them. Uh, I wish they would continue to make them. But some of the new stuff's great also, and we'll talk about that as well. KMD's my all-time favorites. If you can find some, get them and run in them, work out in them. They make you feel like you can do parkour everywhere, even though I can't. Um, next, let's, let's talk about the V-Alpha. Now, if I were asked what is, if I wanted to buy one pair of Vibrams to wear on trails and on roads, to run, to, to wear around, whatever... The V Alpha is the answer. Um, they have enough kind of a lug, a, enough of a trail sole that they do fine on trails. I ran a hundred miler in this pair uh, two years ago at uh, the uh, 
Kansas Rails to Trails extravaganza down uh, near Ottawa on limestone trails and uh, did great with these. Never changed my shoes, never had to have any problems with them. Uh, ran 100 miles in them, no, no worries. You can also run the roads in, in them. They're not quite as lugged as some of the other off-road shoes, and so they don't hurt as much. Some of the trail shoes I find starts to kind of higher mileage. It starts to hurt my feet when I've been smacking pavement with them because they have a little bit more going on underneath and harder rubber. These actually aren't bad for the roads. If you just are going to buy one pair and run everywhere, these are the ones to buy. And uh, they're not my favorite trail shoes and they're not my favorite road shoes, but they're the best all around to do both, I believe. Plus, great material on the upper. This is one thing that they upgraded from the KSO Evo, which, which the upper started to kind of come apart. Um, these are a much better upper. These are really great shoes, great ones to run in um, trails or roads. Next up, let's talk about V runs. Now these are the, um, the evolution of Bikila, or then I believe it went to like Bikila Evo and then these, and this is, uh, I originally bought some V runs in gray and I sent them back. So I bought them in 43 and they were too big. They felt too big and they have a very like stretchy, loose feeling material. So they're kind of the opposite of the KMD where they don't, you don't feel like anything is on your foot hardly. Uh, so they felt too big. They were really long and then loose fitting. So I sent them back and I ordered 42s and they were too small. And I just couldn't find the sweet spot of it. I needed a 42 and a half or whatever. Uh, so I, I abandoned those. I ran in KMDs for a long time. And then I eventually ran in V-trains, which I don't have any of. I've had five, four pairs of V-trains that I've just completely run through. Those became my go-to when I couldn't find KMDs anymore. Um, so we'll talk about that in a second as well. I got these V-runs uh, after giving up on them a few years back because Vibram had a sale on, I don't know if they were returned or factory seconds or something, uh, ones that there was a problem with. And so I got them for like $35. They happened to have some in my size. So I got these highlighter yellow color. I started running on these um, because I was recovering from an ultra marathon and my toes were kind of hurting from that. And I wanted something with just a, a little bit of padding, a little bit of cushion. And though these still felt a little too big, I have gotten used to running them and then I've just run the heck out of them over the last year or so. And so actually I've upgraded now to a brand new pair I just got and I've run a couple times in of these V runs. I really like these. Uh, originally I was disappointed because I didn't feel like they fit me well, but I really like these now. And so um, I think these are great for roads. I think these are great for higher mileage roads because they do have just a bit of cushion compared to like a KMD or a V-Train. Um, and so I think these are great for longer uh, road runs. Uh, it is V runs that I ran like this year on my 40th birthday. I ran 40 miles on, on the roads around our town and uh, had no trouble. Normally, I will say with like KMDs or V trains, when, by the time I finish a, a marathon, uh, which is for me anywhere from like three and a half to 3.45 or so hours, um, my feet hurt pretty, pretty, pretty good. I, I think they hurt at the end of a marathon more than they hurt at the end of a hundred mile ultra because I'm on pavement and because I'm running faster. Um, it's definitely noticeable. I would say V runs give you just enough padding, just enough of a cushion that that really helps a lot on long runs on pavement. Um, so I think those are really nice as well. Finally, I'll get to these. These are the V train twos. And uh, I told you I've had like four pairs of V-Trains. They're the, they're the evolution of the KMD. There's a little more going on here I, I, that I don't love. Like there's a little, you see a little bit of, a, of an uh, arch support. And it's not really support, but it hugs your arch a little more. They're a little thicker of a sole. So they're a little less flexible, I feel like, than, than, uh, than the KMD. Uh, and that's true of the V-Train as well as the V-Train 2.0. Um, but they feel great. Um, they've been great for me on roads as well. I also wear these to, you know, play dodgeball with our youth at church and that kind of stuff. And, and they are really nice for that, but you do have to be prepared that it is a little more 
stiff of a sole. Um, and so some people really don't like that. I'm not super concerned about that. Um, and they do give you a little protection, but no padding, just protection. And uh, so those are a nice pair as well. This is also the same kind I got my son last year uh, as a seventh grader when he was beginning his first season of track at middle school. And uh, he loves running in his. Unfortunately, COVID led to track being canceled after a week of practice. But uh, he loves those V-Train 2.0s as well as, as and he runs, runs in those with me uh, a lot of the time. Those are my road running ones. So if you're going to ask me, first of all, if you want one pair to rule them all, get V-Alphas. You can run trails. You can run roads. If you want to run um, roads and you want to ask my, my very favorite road runners, KMDs, again, they may have some lace version, the LS version on their website. Otherwise, you're looking for buying them from somebody used or something like I have. Um, those are my all-time favorites on the road. Uh, if you're looking for the newest version of something like that, I really do like the V-Train 2.0 and the V-Train. Uh, those are awesome. If you're going to go far... If you're really going to run, you know, marathons or beyond, I do encourage you to go after the V-Run. Uh, hopefully you can find sizing that works for you a little better than I do. But even with them being a little big, um, these work great for running roads. And for me, long, long distances, um, they give me just that little bit of cushion that I need uh, to get through it all. I love running in my Vibrams. That's what keeps me going. And I wear all the casual ones and I wear them every day and all the time. But when it comes down to it, it is running in these that has made me feel um, like, like they are, are a game changer. So I encourage you to give it a shot. Uh, you may be the only one at your race that, that wears them. You may find some people running in them as well. And there is almost like a, a kinship when you see somebody else running in Vibrams. And, uh, and, and so that's always a good time. But I encourage you to check out uh, the road running options that are out there. Uh, give it a shot, take your time, get on the road, and I think you'll love them. All right, those are my road runners. If you have any questions, if you want to uh, tell me what your favorite ones are for the road, get in the comments and uh, let's talk about what's going on with running in Vibrams. Also, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, do all the stuff that everybody tells you to do on videos. I, I want to be able to keep uh, sharing some of my thoughts on Vibrams to, uh, to as many as we can going forward. I will run 100 miles